Hey, hello friends. Welcome back. I'm Robin if you happen to be new today and welcome to another Sunday Reset here in my home. Today is a little bit of a different day. I've got my comfy clothes on. A storm is coming. There's been a hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico and we're about two hours from Galveston, give or take, about two hours from Houston, Texas. So we are expecting some really bad rain and wind and it started yesterday. We did not have, uh, I'm sorry, this is Monday, July the 8th, I believe. And so yesterday, we didn't have lights for like, I don't know, four hours. It was terrible, but we got through it. We have lots this morning. They came on right before we went to bed last night, about 9.30 or so. So we're very happy to still have lots this morning, but uh, today's my day off. Um, I'll show you around outside to see what the weather looks like in just a second, but I just thought, okay, the internet's out today, so uh, let me just do some filming to get the house tidied up uh, in case it gets really bad and we lose lots again. So. That's what we're going to do today. I started a pot of beans yesterday. I'll insert in just a little bit how I make my, what we call cowboy beans. That's what my mother always called it when we were growing up. It's just pinto beans and some hamburger meat. So I'll insert some of those clips in just a second of how I make those. So I started that yesterday and they only had maybe two hours left when the lights went off. So I put them in the refrigerator and then I started them again this morning. So they're almost done. Um, so we've got beans to eat on for a couple of days. I do need to whip up some cornbread, but anyway, so today's going to be just a cozy, rainy day here at my home. We're just going to get some chores done. I've got some deep cleaning that I really need to get done. My stove needs to be cleaned. So my ceiling fans need my attention. Oh, my ceiling fans run 24-7 around here, and I don't really see that they're dirty until I turn them off. <laughs> so they are pretty bad. So I'll show you um, kind of how I clean my ceiling fans. When I do go to clean them, I've got, um, I don't know, maybe four steps to clean my ceiling fans, but it works. It helps the dust, helps retract the dust for a longer period of time if you'll do it the way I'm going to show you. So uh, let's see. I've got a friend, Linda. I'm not going to say her last name, but my friend Linda sent me a Happy meal package. Oh my gosh, you guys are so, so good to me. Just the fact that you spend, first of all, just the fact that you spend your precious time with me every Wednesday, every Sunday just blows my mind. Then you can, and then how you spend your hard earned money on me just, oh, it just warms my heart. So Linda, I know you're watching today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hopefully by the end of the day, our internet will be back up and I can send you an email thanking you for this stuff. But she sent me a couple of Pioneer Woman uh, items and I cannot wait to show you what she sent me. And I'll put those, let's see, there's a, um, a tumbler. There's a little pinch pot, a salt pepper pinch pot, and I'm gonna put that by my stove. And then a beautiful wooden spoon that I'm gonna put in my utensil holder. So I'll show you that in just a little bit. But let's see, and I guess that's it, guys. So without further ado, I'm gonna grab me another cup of coffee. I'm gonna show you what the weather looks like, and then we're gonna get busy tidying up this house. Thanks for being here, I appreciate you. Hit that thumbs up button, maybe subscribe before you leave, and let's get started, friends. Okay, let's go take a peek outside of what the storm looks like. And today, I'll definitely be cleaning the screen door, or this glass screen door, however you want to say it. It is so, so dirty, but let's go take a peek. I need to get my 4th of July off of the front porch. I may do that today, but... So, this is about 8.30 in the morning. The storms are brewing, but so far, so good. It's just kind of got a steady rain. It's been a... It's just... It's been a steady rain for about two hours now, but this is what we're working with today. So, y'all, how you like my cushions for my little rocker there my brother gave me? Isn't that adorable? But I need to get out here and take down the decor. I may do that just real fast. Okay, so that's what we're working with today as far as weather. That's why it's so gloomy in the house. So, let's start getting some rainy day chores done. Okay, now that I've showed you guys around outside, let's take a moment, clean this screen door or glass screen door, and maybe get over here and clean this window if I can, just to make it, I don't know, it's really dirty. You don't see how dirty it is until it's all fogged up. So let's get this cleaned first.
and friends, I'm sure you've already noticed, but this video is extra long today. So all of my friends out there that don't really care for long videos or don't have time to watch it, say more than 20 minutes, let me just quickly say this video is a collaboration with my friend Sandy. Her channel is called Spending Life Together. I'll have her video down below linked for you to go over and check her out. I'll say more about Sandy later on in the video. But I just want to quickly mention her uh, for you guys to go over and show her some favor, just in case you don't make it all the way to the end of this video. Okay, there. Now, we can really see the storm good. I missed a few spots in the corners up there. I'm just so short, but anyway, looks a lot better. Now you can really see it raining out there. Okay, so here I'm going to insert some clips from the day before. So this would have been, what, Sunday morning. I took a whole bunch of pinto beans and put them in some water and put them in the refrigerator and I let them set all, no, I'm sorry, Yes, I let them sit all Saturday night in the, in the refrigerator. And then early Sunday morning, I got up, and as you can see, that water was really dirty. Um, I just washed them and drained them, and then we're going to put them in the crock pot. So it's very important that you let them sit in the refrigerator um, overnight in water and make sure you have enough water so that uh, beans can kind of absorb the water, kind of puff up, and they're a lot easier to cook that way. Okay, so then once I've washed them, I'm going to put them in the crock pot and fill them up with water. Okay, so another important thing is to make sure that you've got your beans completely covered with water. You never want the water to kind of get below the beans. And then you'll see here in a second, once I put them um, in the crock pot container, or whatever you want to call that, the cooker part of the crock pot, all of the shells uh, will kind of rise to the top. And you just want to kind of quickly pick out any of the shells that have come off the beans. You don't have to do that, but I try to do that. And then just to add some extra flavor, I would normally add some beef broth. Um, however, I was out, so chicken broth does fine, but try not to skip this step. It really adds a lot of flavor to your beans. So again, you might think we have too much water here, but you don't. I promise that water will evaporate. And then here's the beans that Derek picked up from me from Sam's. They're just the plain dried pinto beans. And at this point, I've put them in the crock pot for eight hours to cook. Okay, now I'm going to just take the time to turn off the ceiling fans, let them stop, and then we'll get to clean our ceiling fans. And hey, let me show you real fast a new item I got in from Amazon. This is actually a diaper bag. Isn't it so cute? But I got it to hold all of my planners and all of my stickers and pens and things like that that I like to decorate my planner with. So let me show you this just real quickly. Okay, let me take everything out. Now, if you're not a planner girl, you don't have all this stuff, just skip through this. But I know a lot of you say that you definitely have a lot of planners and you like to decorate your planners and you're just, you like to read and things like that. So this is just how I keep, um, it's like a little divider and it Velcros. And so I needed something to store all of this stuff that you see, which brings me such joy. Um, but I needed something to store it in. And so I got this off of Amazon. Y'all, I think it's like $17. Isn't it adorable? I love the way it's kind of short and squatty. I love the blue stripe material. So pretty. And so this section just uh, Velcros in, Velcros out. So you don't have to have this department right here if you don't want it. But any, anyway, I'll have it linked below on my Amazon um, store, but it is so cute. So here's this book that I'm currently reading, Fast Like a Girl. Um, all my friends out there that have never tried fasting, intermittent fasting, I can't say it very well. This is the book for you. I love this book. Okay, and so this is my my journal that's got my everyday prayers and things like that, my goals, 
Um, so this is from the Happy Planner. And so this is what I use every morning when I try to do, try to read my Bible, try to do a Bible study, try to encourage my morning by writing down some stuff in this journal. And then this is my sticker book. Is that upside down? No. Um, that also came from the Happy Planner. And it's just full of like my quotes and my stickers, everything to decorate my sticker books with, or my planners with. So this is my stickers. So that's gonna fit in here nicely also. And then here's just some of my little to-do slips that I'll show you in a second how they slip into my planner. But these are my to-do list. <laughs> and so here's a blank one. And these are also from the Happy Planner. And so this just snaps into your planner. And so I like to keep a lot of these in here. Uh, I'll show you that in just a second. And then here's my everyday catch-all planner. Now this one stays at the office with me. Um, this one stays at the office, and I bring it home on the weekends. So this is not here very often, but it'll still fit in here if I need it to. Very nicely. Let's see, it might fit in this department. There we go. Uh, let's see. Here are some things that I got from my friend that owns the Noteworthy um, Etsy shop. And I'm going to show you guys in a separate video. Oops. I'm going to show y'all how I put a new binder together that she that I bought from her, and these are all some of the things she sent me. So I'll show y'all that in a later video. So we're just going to sneak that in right there. And then here is my big happy planner that I keep all of my um, YouTube information in. So this is just all my um, YouTube research and how I'm going to plan out the month and what videos I'm going to post. So this is like my social media planner, and this is what I meant by, let's see if this will sit here. You take one of your to-do list, and, oh, there's one right there, and it just pops in to the little disc like that. And then when you're done with it, you know, you just take it out, throw it away, or keep it, and then that just gives you all your notes for the day. I love this system. So this disc bound system is just my favorite, but it fits perfectly in one of these big planners. Anyway, some of you might not be interested in this, but the ones that are, look how well all my stuff fits in here. Ah, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Oh, and this is just my little pencil bag that's got my highlighters and pens and pencils and washi tape and just things to decorate your planners with if you like to decorate it, which I do. And then that's just going to fit right there. So look, how sweet is this? And then I can leave it in the living room and carry it to my bedroom, carry it to the office. I love it. Okay, so there's that. I love this. Sometimes I plan here in the living room. Sometimes I do it in the bed. So this is just a great little way to store it when I'm not using it and then just take it back and forth to the different rooms. So, and I usually keep it right over here. I usually keep all of my stuff right over here on the hearth on beside the sofa. So I'll show you where I'm gonna keep it for the time being, where it's home is gonna be. But I'm so excited to find something perfectly store all of my goodies at. So, okay, so I'm gonna show you where I keep this and then we're gonna get to cleaning these ceiling fans. Okay, well this ceiling fan is not as sturdy as I thought it was gonna be. There is a little bit of dust accumulated there. Let's see what the kitchen fan looks like. Okay, and this one's really good. I'm really surprised. So, that one looks really good too. Okay, let's get them cleaned and get this marked off of our tours list. Okay guys, I warned you, it's a lot of steps, but it's worth it. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a pillowcase and I'll slide, put the pillowcase over each blade and then pull it back and get all of that dirt off so it won't fall to the floor. And then I'll go with a wet microfiber cloth and wipe the blade down. And then I will spray on some pledge or in-dust furniture polish, spray it on there and wipe it down with a dry microfiber cloth. So that's the process I like to do when I clean my ceiling fans. It just really helps to repel that dust and make it where I don't have to clean them as often because we all know cleaning the ceiling fan is not something that we want to do. So guys, the lighting might not be very well. I'm gonna turn off the lights when I clean the ceiling fan and you guys know it's really dark outside. So it's about nine o'clock in the morning and it's still pretty dark outside because of the storm. So bear with the lighting, I apologize. I hope it's okay when I turn off these lights. Okay, let's clean this first ceiling fan.
Okay, that was the first step, getting all the dust off the blades, and all the dust is inside this pillowcase. I usually like turn it inside out, go outside, shake it out, and then I wash it. So all the dirt is now in this pillowcase instead of down on the floor. So now I'm gonna take my wet microfiber cloth and wipe down the, each blade and probably these little light fixtures. Also gonna take the time, what was so dirty, to walk the top of these blades of these blades too. Okay, there. Now for my last step, I'll take my pledge, spray it on a microfiber cloth, and wipe each blade down again. Okay, so here you go, a really clean ceiling fan, which hopefully is gonna last a couple months where I have to clean it again. And again, that's a lot of steps I had to do, but it's very worth it in my opinion. I'm gonna clean the kitchen fan, but I'm not gonna film it, guys. Just know that I do the same process on this kitchen fan that I did in the living room. Okay, both of my ceiling fans are now clean. What a great feeling. Let me know in the comment section, what's the deep cleaning chore in your home that you really need to get done today and so dread it? Okay, now let's head into the laundry room. Let's do another chore I hate to do and that's folding clothes. <laughs> okay, it's been about an hour since I showed you guys what the weather's like. So let me take you out on the back deck real fast. It's getting just a little bit heavier. How you like the way I've got my inner tubes? <laughs> I didn't want to bring them inside because they were dirty. But the rain's a little bit heavier, not too, too bad. Got one limb down over there, but the wind is pretty easy right now. That's what I'm most concerned with is the crazy wind. Um, it did take down my welcome sign that was there, but that's okay. I've got a couple of my watering cans out to catch some rainwater from my plants. But anyway, not too bad, guys. The birds were out earlier on the bird feeders. But of course they're in their homes right now. But anyway, as you can see the wind's going just a little bit. The pool's about to overflow, but it's not too bad. I'll check back in in just a little bit. Let's get this load of laundry done real fast. Okay, okay, I've got one more load of laundry to fold. And guys, I meant to tell y'all when I was playing back my video, I've got a stain here somewhere. <laughs> somewhere on my shirt. It's not dirt. There it is. It's not dirt. It's paint. And this is my favorite, favorite, favorite sweatshirt. Y'all seen it many a times. When I'm doing a lot of cleaning in the house, this is the most comfortable shirt ever. And then I've got my little PJ pants on. So sorry for the way I look today, but on a rainy, stormy day, the last thing I wanted to do was get dressed up for the camera. But I appreciate you guys if you're still watching, even though my appearance is not that good. When I started, that reminds me of something. When I started my channel, my youngest child, I was talking to him about, you know, doing a homemaking channel and, but the ones I watched, the ladies always look so put together. They always have their makeup on and I'm like, gosh, I don't know because when I clean my house, I never usually have makeup on. I wear my house clothes. I don't really get dressed up. Um, maybe after work, if I film some after work, I would have a full face of makeup on, my hair will be done, but most Saturdays and Sundays is when I clean my home. and. I don't really look that good. And Jay said to me, Mom, just be real, just be, be yourself. And I think people are looking for realness in this world. And I thought, you know what, Jay, you're probably right. So from the very beginning of my channel, I have really 
not done a lot of sprucing up for my videos or however you want to say that. I've just turned on the camera and started filming the way I normally would clean my home. So, so all of you that are still out there watching me since day one, I so appreciate that. So please excuse my appearance today if you're new and you're like, oh, she doesn't get dressed up at all for her videos. And I do not. I apologize for that. Now, when I do my decorating videos, sometimes I'll spiffy up a little bit. But most of the time, my cleaning videos, this is what you get. So, okay, enough talking. Let's do this last load of clothes. I was trying to get all the laundry done yesterday, which is Sunday, before the storm hit. And, of course, the lights went out yesterday around noon, I think. So, I was on one, my one last load of clothes. They were actually washing when the lights went out. So when they came back on and this morning when I got up, I finished washing that load of clothes. I'm actually, I actually rewashed it and then I dried them. And so now let's fold them, get them put away and I will be done with laundry before this crazy storm hits. Normally, my plant is hanging from the ceiling, but my little thing came down. I didn't have it in a stud, so my plant fell the other day. So, I've got to get Derek to get back up there and put that in the ceiling. But normally, this hangs from the ceiling, and it's so, so pretty. Cause the best thing about it is I know I'm coming back. Oh, oh. Of all the magic places in the world I've been Okay, now we're going to stop and check on our beans real fast. I went ahead and added a can of Rotel tomatoes. I don't like to get the spicy ones, but these don't have, I'm sorry, these are not spicy, but they do add a great flavor to your beans. So I've added a whole can of that. And then you're just going to brown one pound of hamburger meat. And here's the seasons that I use. I use Tony's. I use some salt and pepper, some chili, some paprika, and some garlic powder now I was out of regular salt so I'm just going to use some sea salt and guys if you've been around you know that I really don't measure I just kind of eyeball it I've been making these beans for years now for my family so I just kind of sprinkle it on there and go from there and then kind of taste your meat but um Again, just add your spices, continue, continue to brown your meat, and then once it's completely done, sorry guys if this is a little shaky, I was trying to film and do my seasoning with one hand, um, but once it's all completely brown, you're going to add it over into your pot of beans, and then I usually put my meat into my beans when it's got about an hour or so left. Um for some reason I, I feel like uh, about an hour is about the perfect time and then you just kind of want to then you just want to let your meat kind of marry with your beans uh, and just kind of simmer for a while and let all that combine and that's pretty much all I do friends Okay, now that all of my laundry is done and put up, oh, what a great feeling. Let's fill up a few things in the laundry room. I uh, need to put some set beads, some OxyClean, my shout it out needs to be filled up. But before we do that, let me share with you guys that this video is in collaboration with a new friend of mine here on YouTube. Her name is Sandy. I'll put her YouTube channel and a link to her latest video down in my description box. Sandy reached out to me. Gosh, it's probably been a couple months now. We've been trying to get this collaboration done. It's been my fault. I've been so, so 
busy and just not taking the time to do it, but we finally got it done. Thank you, Sandy, so much. It's an honor that you reached out to me to do a collaboration. Let's head out, Sandy, guys, and let's go over, show her some love. Again, click on that video in my description box, and I know you're going to love Sandy as much as you love me, but first, let me let her introduce herself to you guys. Hi, sweet friends. My name is Sandy, and I'm so excited to be doing this collaboration with Robin today. After you watch her video, I'd love for you to come over and check out my channel where we do all things home decor on a budget. If you could drop me a note in the comments and let me know you're coming from Robin's channel, that would mean the world to me. And I hope you will consider subscribing to be part of my YouTube family. See you over there. Okay, isn't she adorable? You're gonna just love all the videos that she posts. And again, let's help her out and show her some love. Okay, let's get some things filled up in my laundry room. Another thing I like to do in my laundry room is I like to keep my washing machine kind of clean. I don't like it when I open up that lid and it's got dirty funk stuff in it, or is that the word, funk? <laughs> I do not like it when I open it up and it's dirty, let's just say that. So I usually have some Lysol wipes on handy. I usually have Lysol wipes handy and I clean out the inside of my washing machine when it gets kind of dirty. So let's do that real fast, just so when I start washing it again this week, it'll be good and clean. Okay, and this might not look dirty, but as you can see, huh, it was dirty, dirty. Okay, so now it's good and wiped down, ready for another load of clothes. If you're new to my channel, uh, this laundry room is very new to me. I did a total transformation of this laundry room about two months ago, and I just could not express to you how much I love this utility room. <laughs> we have lived in this house for, gosh, I think about 20 eight years maybe it's been a while we raised all of our children in this home now we're our grandchildren are being raised um with us living in this home and i just am so thankful for this home and as you can see this is a great size utility room however it was never really ideal i didn't really like to hang out in it it didn't have any organization it was just four walls and yucky flooring and it just really needed some of my attention so i took about four months and saved some money and i did the renovations pretty slowly i would save up money to um a paint and then i would have the room painted and then i would save up money to get new flooring and i would save up money to get new cabinets so for all of you that have been hanging out with me for a while you know that it was a very very slow process um i was just tickled to be able to just to really get it done i was very very thankful i know some of my friends watching today probably don't even have um a huge um, laundry room you might have like a little washer and dryer maybe you know in your kitchen or in a closet in the hallway or maybe your washer and dryers outside in your car shed I know some homes are still like that here in Texas so I am very thankful and very blessed that I've got this great utility room and that I was able to remodel it and man did I remodel it we uh, again got new flooring got new paint got new cabinets uh, added another little pantry so I've got two pantries now for our overflow of food and just some of our cleaning supplies and I added my favorite thing there which is my folding table underneath the window that's one of my favorite areas and I've been pretty good about taking clothes out of the dryer putting them up there getting them folded and put them away I was really bad about throwing everything on the couch in the living room and that would sit there for several days so I'm just so so thankful for this laundry room uh, I've got a play list down in the description box so if you want to see my utility room transformation it'll take you each video back to back of me transforming my 
um, laundry room and anything that you see today um, as far as my scent bee holders and my fabric softener holders uh, all that will be linked in my Amazon favorites link down below in my description box Okay, what a great feeling. I've got everything filled up in my laundry room now. So my OxyClean's done, my scent beads, my fabric softeners. I love that this little fabric softener box can fill a whole thing of bounce sheets. So that's perfect. So ready to do laundry probably starting Tuesday. <laughs> so, but all my laundry is done. My laundry room is in good shape. So let's move on to our next task. Okay, now let's move into the kitchen. I need to clean up from cooking these beans. Here's where I fixed the hamburger meat and I still have my spices out. So I need to get this area cleaned up. So let's check on our beans just real fast. Now, it does not have five hours left. I had to restart it this morning and it's pretty much done. Let me just go ahead and put it on warm. Let's see. Oops, I always forget how to work this sucker. Okay, so these beans are pretty much done. Let me show them to you. Oh, they look delicious. Uh, delicious if you guys try these let me know in the comment section or if you're gonna try them let me know in the comment section if you do try them maybe in another video let me know that you've tried them if you don't follow me over on instagram uh, it's at robin lane low the same as my channel hit instagram and that helps us to kind of communicate a little faster than waiting on a youtube video but those are going to be so good over some cornbread Y'all, I'm not the only one out there that must wipe down your condiments. I think that's what these are called, your seasonings, <laughs> before you put them back in the cabinet. I know when I'm cooking, my hands get dirty and I reach for these and they just get so yucky. So let me know in the comment section if you're like me, you're a little OCD and you cannot put back up your spot or put your spices back up unless you've wiped them down. This is where my heart is, oh you know it's true No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you Okay, let's clean the stove real fast. I like to use this Barkeeper's Friend, and I like to mix in a little bit of this Mrs. Meyers Clean Day Baking Soda Cream clean Cleaner. <laughs> to me, these are my two magic ingredients to uh, get a really clean stove top. Let me show you how I do it. Okay, we're gonna first, by just starting your, your Barkeeper's Friend, just throw a little on there. That's probably enough, I just kinda eyeball it. And I'm going to take a little bit of this cream. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm almost out of it. I need to go to Target and get some more. I just put a little bit of that on there to help form a little paste. Then you're going to take a sponge. I have, I usually take a big sponge and cut them in half. So I've got a couple that are just for my stove top. So I'm going to get this good and wet. Okay, now I'm going to start forming my paste on here, and I may have to go back and put some more, but right now I'm just going to kind of try to form a paste and get this completely rubbed into the stove top.
Okay, my paste is not as thick as I like it, so I'm just going to add a little bit more. And this stuff goes everywhere. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all. I'm going to have to show y'all outside. I hear it getting really bad out there. Oh my. I hear the wind blowing more. The rain's coming down a little harder. So let me get this rubbed in real fast and then I'm going to leave this. Once I kind of get it the consistency that I want it, I like to leave it on here till it's almost completely dry. So to me, that's the key to getting this stove top so clean. You want to get a really good paste on it and then you want to let it sit here and dry and kind of do its thing. Kind of like I just did with the Dawn Power Wash. I've sprayed down my skillet. Now I'm going to let it sit there and kind of do its job, then I'll go back and clean it. So, sometimes we spray things on stuff, but we don't really give it a chance to work. So, okay, that's a pretty good paste. So, we're going to leave it just like this and let it dry. Let me go show you outside real fast. Oh, goodness. It is coming down. Y'all see it? The way it builds up on my front porch. What it does, it just kind of runs off both. Before I open up the door, it's really going to be really loud. The rain runs off from the daycare center down that road that road that circle drive onto that circle drive and see how it kind of builds up in the middle of the road and then it just kind of flows into my house so oh we've got to do something but so right now it's pretty much backing up on the front porch so I'm gonna get out here real fast move my rugs and move some things off the front porch before it gets too too bad but let me open up the door I need to bring my cushions in too let me open the door just let you look, uh, see kind of what's going on. It's going to be really loud, so be ready. Dear Lord, please protect us. Please protect if any trees fall, Lord, that they fall in the opposite direction of the house. I pray for favor over us today, Lord, for everyone in our community. Keep us safe, Lord, everyone that's in the path of the storm. I pray for all the electricians that are out, the linemen that are working to keep our power on, Lord. Keep us safe, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Instagram and messaged me, checking on us. Thank you so, so much. Oh, I mean, I got emotional all of a sudden. Whew. But, um, thank you for checking on me. I know so many of you guys I've never met face to face, but you're such a good friend to me. You always offer me support and encouragement. Check in on my family, and I so appreciate you. So, okay, let me get it together, and, uh, let's get back to, let's get back to cleaning up this house before it really gets bad around here.
Okay, so here's what it looks like when it's pretty much completely dry. As you can see, I can't really, it's real chalky. So now that it's completely dry, I'll take some wet paper towels and that's how I take it off. I've already scrubbed it with my little scrubber. Now it's dried and now I'll take wet paper towels. I've just find the wet paper towels is a lot better than using like a dish rag and I have to keep, keep rinsing it out. So wet paper towels it is and let's get this taken off of the stove completely. Okay, and here's my last step. This is the Spray Away Glass Cleaner, my very favorite cleaner of all times when it comes to glass surfaces. And I'll just spray a little on here and wipe it down. And that will be my stove top completely clean and shiny. And of course, I get it good and clean, but I still have to put my tray on here that my son Jay and Vanessa made for me several years ago. I love it. So underneath it is a clean stove top. Okay, my friends, before I end this video, let me show you my Happy Meal that I got from my wonderful friend, Linda. Linda, oh my goodness, you just made my day. She, when she reached out to me asking if she could send me something, I'm like, no, 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 please, please, please. I, I'm just very happy with you watching my channel, subscribing, supporting me, being my friend, and she just insisted. So, um, and look at all she sent me, friends. Y'all just amaze, amaze, amaze me. I'm just blown away when y'all spend your hard-earned money on me. Y'all are such great friends. So, Linda, I just love it. Okay, we're going to start with the salt cellar with a wooden lid. Isn't it beautiful? Let's open it up, open it up real fast. Hopefully, Linda, you got this because you knew I keep a little um, cutting board, kind of a display vignette beside my stove, and I love kind of making it functional and decorate it with a little decor, and oh my goodness, this is perfect for me to put my sea salt in that over by my stove. Ah, oh, this is perfect. And then, and then she got me my wooden spoon that I wanted. Isn't it beautiful? I won't be using it, it'll just be on display. I have several uh, utensil holders in my kitchen. Someone made a comment a few weeks back that I have too many of them, but can you really have too many of them? I love them. So this will go over by the stove also. And then look at, at this. Oh my gosh, Linda, this is absolutely beautiful. I am a Pioneer Woman girl through and through, and I think what I'm going to do with this is I always have water at my desk at work, and I've got a little tumbler that my daughter gave me a, a several years ago, and I think, sorry Court, but I'm going to replace it with this one because it is just too beautiful not to use every day. This is also going to go on vacation with me when we go to vacation for our family vacation in August, so so excited. This is just beautiful. So again, thank you, Linda. I greatly appreciate you. I cannot thank you enough. And thank you, my friends, for all your wonderful support on this channel. Okay, my friends, that's all I have for you today. I know it's been a wild one with this hurricane coming. Oh my goodness. Pray for our safety, please. I appreciate you guys so, so much. If you happen to be new today, go ahead and introduce yourself to me in the comment section before you leave today. Maybe your name, where you're from. We all love hearing from all of our new subscribers here and our new friends. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. That helps out my video so, so much. If you're still watching, leave me a white heart emoji in the comment section to let me know you stayed all the way to the end, which I know most of you do. And 
I appreciate you so, so much. Don't forget, let's show Sandy some love. Click on that link below. Go over and check out her channel. Let her know in the comment section of this video that, or her video that Robin sent you over. And let's see how many of my loyal friends will support Sandy. I need so, I know so many of you support all my collaborations and I greatly appreciate you. Okay, friends, thanks again for stopping by. Thanks for spending some of your precious time with me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, friends.